Pride for me is such an exciting time, especially here in D.C. Um, the parades that happen, you have people from all over the world, different cultures, different backgrounds, uh, different colors, different shapes, sizes, all that uh, coming together for one common theme, and that's just love. Pride in yourself, pride in who you are, what you are, what you're made up out of, um, and, and being proud of the life that you live and being unapologetically you. So my first Pride event was here in D.C., and it was actually before I even came out. Um, I was trying to just kind of navigate, you know, when you're young, you're still trying to figure out who you are and grow into your adult self. And, um, you know, being able to go to Pride, I've always been supportive of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, but that experience in itself, I was like, this is such a beautiful and powerful thing. Uh, we had our own little float. I was throwing beads off. I was wearing a tutu. It was just an amazing experience. Um, and ever since then, uh, whenever they say, does anyone want to do the Pride event, I'm always down. Um, and making sure that the mystics are represented as well, um, because I feel like our team, our league is so inclusive. And regardless of who you are, what you are, what you're made out of, uh, your religion, your background, you have a space here with us and so I just want to make sure that we're out there in the community um, and that people know that they're loved by us as well. God has blessed me in an abundance of ways and uh, the biggest one is, is this game and the platform that it allows me to have and being able to be a voice for the voiceless. Obviously everything that I'm made up of, everything that I identify as, as Natasha Cloud, uh, that's what I fight for. And so I'm gonna fight for the LGBTQ plus community. I'm gonna fight for women and their rights to their body and their choices. I'm gonna fight for the black community. It's really important to me. Obviously the ball stops at some point, right? And I would love to be a part of uh, the basketball community still in, in some sense, but uh, the older that I've gotten, the more up our country has gotten. Um, I really do think that I want to take a dive into politics, and um, especially I'm from Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia has now surpassed and is one of the most violent cities in America. And uh, so whether that's being the mayor of Philadelphia or the governor of Pennsylvania, we've seen more than anything over the last few years that to make actual change and to be able to do tangible things, we need to be in this position of power. And they tried far too often to keep a lot of people that look like me out of those positions of power, especially so that we can't progress it forward. So um, I would love to dive into politics and really make some real change within the communities that I love so much. I think that there should always be a pride to be able to come together to celebrate one another um, and to show that genuine love. It really does make a difference in people's lives to know that um, you may feel alone at, at points, but there is a community out here that loves you, that will support you, that will hear you, that will be there for you. Um, and I think that, for real, Pride events have saved lives. And so for that, I, I always think that there should be something to celebrate.